hasn't even started and it's already a disaster. What is really going on? So hey guys, thanks for hanging out with me. If it's your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Stephanie. And if you're coming back, you already know I love and appreciate you so very much. We do have the icon box. <laughs> we do have the glam bag and we also have the box of charm by Ipsy. And if you wanna see what products I got in my variation, then yeah, please keep on watching. Hey guys, please remember to subscribe if you have not, rate the video thumbs up, and turn on your bell so you're notified each and every time I upload. Thanks. Hey guys, I wanna put a disclaimer really quick. Um, if you see me squinting, I'm sorry. I had a little bit of a mishap. The packages showed up on the second, like promised, and I was, you know, working out on the car. And the thing is, my car is not in a garage. Like, I don't have a garage attached to this house. So it's just like on the driveway. And so that's why I'm outside, you know, using the light. Well, I saw my mailman pull up. So I, I got the tools together and I dropped the, I think it's called the ratchet. It's not the open end wrench. It's the one that you put over the bolt and it goes, zit, 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 that one. I call it a ratchet. Anyway, the handle to the ratchet went down and it landed, of course, in the most ridiculous spot in the engine and I couldn't reach it. The girl's too short. So I had it like shimmy under the car. Listen, I Googled everything I could before I started this project. Like what could go wrong? What precautions? I did my research, you know, cause I'm scared to death. I just envisioned me once I get everything in, driving down the road and having everything like just falling out the back, you know? And when I was Googling the information, they said, um, if you're gonna be working on the parts I am, make sure you have like a, like certain things. One of the things was an eye wash and you're dealing with like, you know, liquid in the radiator and that kind of thing. So that makes sense if it splashes in your eyes. Well, I just happen to have one because I got one in one of my try and review opportunities. They say to wear goggles. There's no way your girl cannot see as it is, let alone goggles on. It wouldn't happen. But I know to turn my face. Like, I'm not like looking directly up at things. I'm looking like kind of this way. So if anything falls or if I'm touching anything, it falls this way, right? Not in my face. Well, I grabbed the wrench. I wasn't thinking I was rushing. And when I grabbed it, I didn't turn my head quick enough and it got me and I came in and I rinsed my eyes all last night. Now, as you can see, they look very irritated. The squirting eye drops, I barely slept. I, I tried to sleep this afternoon, like today, because the sun was coming up by the time I was done. Like I literally was at it for like 12 hours, guys, not kidding. There was little specks. I don't know. I was getting ready to go to the emergency room because I was like, is it rust? Like, oh my God. Anyway, I, I took the Q-tips. I was like, you know, rinsing it and then like, kind of doing this and like getting it in the corner and taking out with q-tips i laid down for like a couple hours i was drifting in and out and then all right away like there were, i would feel something so i'd get up because the minute i felt something i wanted to get rid of it my eyes are like super teary i don't have any exterior lights on you know behind except the ring light we're working with that guys it's hard enough for me i just can't see myself in the monitor i'm probably gonna cry off this concealer i've tried to put it on like four times and if you see me like touching my eyes i'm sorry i know i should have probably came on with no makeup but when i looked in my mirror my eyes they looked terrible they look terrible now but not as bad with the makeup but the thing is it's gonna be all janky by the time i'm done anyway if you don't know ipsy sends these boxes over to me so i can go over the products with you and hopefully help you with your decisions you know when it comes to choice or add-ons or in the shop what have you Ipsy is a monthly subscription service. These two, Glam Bag and the BoxyCharm by Ipsy are monthly. And then you do have the Icon Box, which they're so graciously sent me over this month. And that is every three months. It's four times a year. It's basically an upgrade. So you will have one of these subscriptions and instead of getting this, you will get this on those months, if you so choose, all right? And all of the pricing will be listed down below. If you are interested in signing up to Ipsy, I do have an affiliate link which is also listed down there. Please feel free to use that. It does help the channel. And if you do, I just want to say thank you in advance. Okay. And if you are new here, we do all things beauty in a very real life way. I am your everyday consumer. That's how I look at things from that point of view. And hopefully that will help you decide whether or not you like things. Should we get them? Do we want to spend our money? That kind of thing. At the end of the day, the main thing is having fun. I apologize that I'm not in my best today. <laughs> if you like subscription boxes and makeup and skincare and hair care and all that fun stuff, please give the video a thumbs up. That will truly help us out. Remember to keep your bell on guys and check your subscriber button if you wouldn't mind, just to make sure that you are in fact subscribed. YouTube's doing nothing again. The glam bag consists of five products, whether they be sample, full size, deluxe, 
travel, what have you. It's kind of a mix and match of all. This month for November, we have Glow Off This Winter. Looks like that, okay. I believe in the glam bag, you are allowed to pick one. And that is usually around, I want to say between the 19th and the 21st of each month. You will go into your account once you sign up. And then you will make your choice. And then Ipsy will pick the rest based off your profile. You can change your profile whenever you choose to. Let's start with this, Saturday Skin. This is the Carrot Niacinamide Moisturizing Cream. It's just a little guy. There you have it. And this is, ooh, I can't read that. Nope. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I'm not going to be able to read the back. There's no way. This is 20, 27, right? 27 fluid ounces. There's, there's, the, there. And I'm pretty far away from the camera too, so that's not helping. This does not have a safety seal. Okay, so it's white. I was it, That would have been cool if it was red, right? With the carrots. It doesn't have any smell. No, I smell nothing. But it's a moisturizer, so okay, niacinamide. I like niacinamide, but sometimes my skin doesn't. I have to be very careful. I can't use a lot of it. It's just, I'm so weird. Anyway, and then this is the Gold Fat and MD. Very bougie, expensive brand. I have to say, the products that I've tried anyway, I've had success with them. Oh, I'm very happy. Oh my gosh, did I not open my eyes? That hurts. I can't do that. I gotta stop. I can't do that. That hurt. Wow. Yeah, no. This is the Radiance Restoration Eye Treatment. I think we got one a long time ago in a little white and green. Tinier than this. <laughs> I'm going to quick check and see if this is the one. Okay, I have my other device here. This concentrated nightly eye treatment works as you sleep to moisturize and help improve the look of thin, delicate skin of the under eye, leaving your skin feeling firm, looking plump, and appearing stronger for a more vibrant appearance. So no, this is not the one. This is a different one. I'm gonna guess that it works good, but I will try it. All right, so I'm excited about that. I do like this brand. And the one that I tried, you could use it night and morning. This is a night treatment. Okay, well, you know your girl's gonna try that. <laughs> Maybe not for the next couple days because of the eye situation, you know. Third product is Mark Anthony Repair and Protect. Leave-in conditioner. Repair Bond plus something Plex. I can't pronounce that. It's it's proven to maintain damaged hair bonds. So you just lightly spray on to clean damp hair, run through it, and style. Okay. It does protect up to 450 degrees. The fourth item is this, and I'm excited. I never tried anything from Anastasia Beverly Hills like this, you know, gloss. Not that I can remember anyway. Okay, so this... If I can open it. Is it is it sealed? Oh, good Lord, please no. Okay, what's... Oh, okay, wow. Okay, that was very hard. Should I put some on now? I'm going to do it on my finger, guys. I'm just going to wipe it on there. I hope I like this. I had lip gloss on before. I had a little bit of my Jeffree Star, the gloss. That's what I have on Christmas... No, Celebrity Skin. And then I have beaded glass on right now. It's like kind of ties in with the eye look. But it's just a clear gloss. Doesn't feel sticky. Not at all. Okay, cool. For me, Anastasia's lips can be a little funny, but this one I like. The last product in the glam bag is Buddha One Coat Wow Mascara. I like when I get minis because I'd rather have a mini first than a full size because I have... Oh, okay. Because I have so many of the full size and I never... I throw so many away. It's ridiculous because I've opened them, you know? All right, so there's the wand. If you can see that, I'll try and zoom in in editing. When you hold the wand this way, it's perfectly like a wand. And then when you turn it, it kind of has an hourglass shape. So if you look very closely, it's almost like, I won't say square, but it has like two sides the same and then two sides the same, you know? When I use it, I will zoom you in and show you. So there you have that. So that is a glam bag. Boy, I'm going to cut a lot out this video, I'll tell you. <laughs> so I'm going to have to. Can I please ask you really quick? I know I'm not supposed to talk in this video. What happened to Thanksgiving? Oh, and I did try to get a little creative because your girl hasn't been able to get to the Dollar Tree to get decorations for Thanksgiving. I apologize. And I don't know if I could anyway. Before Halloween, I saw Halloween. And then I'm like, oh, okay, Thanksgiving decor. No, they skip right to, to Christmas. Do we not celebrate Thanksgiving anymore? I saw no Thanksgiving decorations. None. Halloween, Christmas. Nothing in between. So I don't know. I'm going to try my best. But I do have the gourds, you know. I know for Christmas, I'm putting my background up, guys. Remember my big, my my background background that I had? The wall thingy? Yeah, well, we're going back to that for Christmas because I don't like this anymore. I need to get some different type of things. I, I'm, I'm getting tired of this background. <laughs> I don't know if I would necessarily say this would be for, like, Thanksgiving. Maybe. I mean, 
you know, it, it is like a, a, a silver snake skin. I would more think this would be for like New Year's, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I like it. It is the faux snake skin, and you have the fuchsia purple, pinky purple. I like that color. You know, that's me. It's like a wristlet, you know? It's fine. It works. I love my little bags. You know that. So let's go to the icon box, shall we? This is the uh, quarterly subscription, which you are billed every three months for. I'm like reaching, reaching. My depth perception is definitely off, but it's the fogginess that's really bugging me, man. It's the icon box, I believe you get. It's eight or nine. We will see. I forget. I, I so sorry. It's been a minute, right? But I will edit up here and you do get to pick a three. Every time the, uh, they come out with the icon box, you have a celebrity in their own right curate the box, meaning they pick the products that they say are the best, that they like, you know, or that they would prefer to be in the box. Some are brand owners themselves. It just depends, you know. Like I said, they're celebrities in their own right, okay? And I'm sorry, but I don't know who this lady is. I've seen her, but I'm not like, like, oh, she's, you know, no. This is Lisa Vanderpump. There she is. That's her. I thought she was from the Housewives of whatever, but I don't know. I could be so wrong. I have no idea. With the icon box, you get a little like brochure type thing. They kind of go over the products that you could receive. Not saying you will, but that you could. And they tell you a little bit about her and why she likes why she likes. Then you have a list of pro products here with the prices. So that may help now. And there it comes with some foam, which that's always good, I guess. Is there an eyeshadow palette in this? I paused in my box of charm by Ipsy. So I haven't really been in there looking because I was like, oh, I don't want to know what I can't get because I, I don't get the bag. So that means I can't do add-ons, right? Let's let's talk about this, okay? Now, I'm not a huge, like, oh my gosh, tart. You know, I know they're like blendable, buildable. Oh, sorry, what am I talking about? Yeah, that would help, huh? This is the Tartlet Juicy palette. Tartlet Juicy. Here's a picture of the shades. I mean, I do like these pinks. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. It says 12 months and it is cruelty free. And then it says Tartlet Juicy Amazonian Clay Palette. That is Tarte's thing, Amazonian Clay. I think that's the formula, I believe. I never quite understood that, but okay. This is what it looks like and I can smell it. I forget that Tarte does scented makeup. I haven't really seen a Tarte eyeshadow in quite a while. So go ahead, see what you be itself. It does smell good. It smells like candy, you know. Oh, it smells sweet. And here you do have a cover saver, which I think is very pretty, right? And then you have a mirror right here. Oh yeah, I look like total crap from what I can see. Anyway, here's the color story. Oh, I don't want to drop this. So let me just hold it like that. Again, you do have a mirror. Here's the front. Got some flowers. It says Tartlet Juicy. And there's the color story, okay? It's got some pinks. It does have a, a dark shade here. What it's appearing on camera, guys, is darker than that. It, it sure is. But now, does it show up on the eyes that dark? We don't know. So we're going to play with this. I'm going to do a look with it. I'm going to I'm gonna try. Tart's very subtle. They're very, like, kind of subdued. You're not going to get, like, any blinding, you know, shimmers or anything. That could be so good on textured eyes. You know, I don't dislike Tarte. But I, I do like the smell a lot. The Tart Tartlet Juicy Amazon Clay Palette is $47. So not cheap. And then we have the next item. This is from Polite Society. This is Polite Pout. There's the packaging. Okay, there you go. And then the shade is Pink Grapefruit. Or the flavor. Glossy Lip Balm. So here's what it looks like. Okay, there you go. I'm sure you, you've probably seen all these things before. Okay, it's very like thin. It, it's almost like a oil. It says, our plush vegan lip, oh, I can't see, lip balm immediately soothes and quenches dry lips, yeah, while adding glassy or glossy shine with a hint of color. Okay, does it? Oh, yeah, I guess. Let me swatch it. Oh, my. Do they call that? Yeah, well, I guess it is. It's just a little hint, see? See it? Very, very subtle. It's very comfortable. It's very sweet. What is that? Very sweet, like very sweet. Ooh. Finally, something that tastes good and not just smell good. Cherry blossom. Okay. It says infused with a nourishing oil blend of hazelnut, peony, vitamin E, and plant-based omega-9 to pamper and naturally plump lips with moisture. It tastes really good, man. Like, really good. $21. It doesn't say anything about the taste. <laughs> I think it's grapefruit, but it's like sweet, sweet grapefruit. I'm liking this. 
a lot. Very happy to see this. All right, so I, yeah, I, I, my hair was, I can't, it's so dry right now and it's so knotty. I can't get a pick through it. I can't even get my fingers through it. It's that bad. And I cut more than six inches off. More than six inches. I turned my head over. I got so mad and I hacked it off. I don't have a lot of hair. I know, don't. It's very long. That's the thing. Anyway, this is Amika. I do like Amika hair products. This is Hydro Rush. Okay. Intense moisture leave-in conditioner. Amika products are very good for your hair and they smell good. I like the way they smell. A lot of them anyway. Yes. Yes. It's, this one smells a little more like fragrance than normal, but okay. I don't like fragrance on my hair like that. Like added like a whole bunch of fragrance. It says, oh, I can't read that. <laughs> but I'm going to try this. I'm going to use it like for a while. Maybe I'll be able to see a difference in my hair. I'm hoping it goes up and down. So it locks. Okay. That's awesome. All right. I'm liking that. The Hydro Rush Intense Moisture Leave-In Conditioner is $29. It is 6.7 fluid ounces. So that's a nice amount. You know, you'll definitely get to see some results. We have the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Okay, let's see how if I can look that up really quick. Something tells me this is a good trusty, like, mascara. I've not tried this mascara. I don't think I did. Bobbi Brown Cosmetic Smoky Eye Mascara is $36. That's a lot for mascara, I think. Here's the packaging. <laughs> All his packaging looks like that. Even his um, face base that I cannot use and I'm definitely afraid of. I don't want to open this. I will insert a picture of the wand here, guys, all right? Because I don't want to open it. It's another one. I will try and use it on camera with you guys, but that's the packaging. It's like a gunmetal gray silver. I'd have bite it to find out. No, it's, it's definitely aluminum. Okay, cool. And then we have this. Oh, yes, LYS. I do like LYS. This is Speak Love Moisture Matte Lipstick, $20, and mine is in the shade Sincere. There it is. Okay. All right, so I like that shade. Oh, okay. This is cool. Okay, LYS, you go ahead with your bed. So I really do like LYS. Everything I can remember that I've tried from them, I've liked, and it's worked well for me. Here's the packaging. Look at that. You got your little sleek side. Is that so you can look and see? If you had to, you could apply it in this, okay? I mean, seriously, guys. I, you can't see it, but I can. Yep, I can see my lips. I mean, if I literally had to. I don't know if that's why it's there. It's very, very pretty. This has, like, a grip on it. Feels like, kind of like, the material that wallets use right here. Very nice. I like that. Okay, and here's a shade. There you go. There you have it. I'm going to swatch it. Let me put it here by the Polite Society. This stuff is still tasting really good. It's, like, really sweet. Time I lick my lips, I get a taste of sugar. Okay, I like that. That is definitely my lips, absolutely, but better, for sure, look. Just a little bit darker, okay, tell me. Comment down below, do you think that matches? I mean, again, it's a little bit darker, but I mean, it's pretty close, right? Yes, I'm happy. I don't have any lips from LYS, I don't think. And they love their packaging, I think it's super cute with the triangle. Yay, thank you, Ipsy. Thank you, LYS, awesome. Then we have, is that it? Okay. Then we have this. I always get the Corez. This is a Santorini Grape Volcanic Skin Reset Mask. Now, this, this is their very, like, specific packaging for their brand and the line. Okay, so there you have it. It's cardboard. It's very reflective. It's 86.2 uh, Natural Origin Clay, BHA, and AHA. The clay alone just is making me go... I'm thinking like the water and the moisture in my whole body is like leaving right the second. It's running away. Different language. We don't need to read that. I can barely speak English, let alone another language. I think this said it's moisturizing at the same time. Like it doesn't strip you, but this is something you got to try to find out. Now, I will give it a go once to see if it strips my skin. If it does, I won't use it because I'm getting to a point now where my barrier is starting to come back. This, if it if it strips me and I keep trying to use it, it will wreck it. I can't do that. This is definitely not something I would use like every other day or something. Probably maybe once or twice a month, you know. It says pour, detox, and clarify. Yeah, see? Two to three times a week, definitely I couldn't do that. Um, a caution, it says avoid contact with the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Massage gently to burst the... Oh, this is terrible. No, it's a, and it's not this packaging. I've been able to read this. So my eyes don't work. I can't see. Okay. No, I can't read that. I'm sorry. Um, maybe I'll do like a little short. See, the skincare is hard to do on camera. You know what I mean? Like I would have to get a bowl. I can't wash my face in a bowl of water. That doesn't work for me. You should see. I definitely need those cufflets because when I come out of the bathroom and I wash my face, 
I'm just washing my face. It looks like I took a shower. Like, not kidding. A lot of times, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't wear my shirt when I wash my face because it always gets soaked and wet. So yeah, just looks like I came out the shower and didn't towel dry myself, you know? Anyway, I need one of them little wristlets because I hate that when it's, I don't like that feeling. It grosses me out. Anyway, sorry, Chorus. Mm. Chorus, Santorini Grape uh, Skin Reset Mask is $39. And that is again, a full size. Then we have the Elemis Skin Buff. Deep Cleansing Exfoliator. Okay, you already know Elemis is a pricey brand. They have a big old picture of it right in front of my face. The Elemis Skin Buff is $49. We adore exfoliating for added glow and love the way this buffs away dullness and leaves skin radiant. Okay, directions. Use weekly, dampen skin, gently miss once a week. Um, in light circular motions, remove with warm water. If contact with light occurs, rush, um, rinse thoroughly. What do you do? What do you do? Here's here's the box, okay? And it's very pretty. There's their little sign right there. I never noticed that until just recently. It says, this deep cleansing uh, exfoliator refines dull looking skin for smoother looking skin. Refines? Swap maybe, but I don't know about refines. Uh, helps to enrich the skin, leaving a radiant and fresh complexion. Yeah, I don't mind one of these. I just can't use them a ton. Like I said, disrupting the barrier and all. I gotta be careful, okay? So there you have that. I'm not mad at that. I will give that a go as well. Like I said, I may like try and put up some shorts. I committed to TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. But I haven't been able to get them into my TikTok account, so I just had to create a new one. And oh, good lord. The last thing in the icon box, and I'm super happy. This is the Glow Recipe Cloudberry Brighten Essence Toner. I love me some essence. This I'm happy to get. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. It's such a pretty bottle. Oh my gosh, look, look, look. Love their packaging. Their packaging is so, so pretty. If you ever get Glow Recipe, please, guys, open it up and slice down and read what's inside. There's a ton, and I mean a ton, of information in there. So, so pretty. I want to smell it. Oh, that wasn't on at all. Oh, my gosh. This was so loose. <laughs> Look at that. really have a smell. Oh, but it's nice and thick. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. I love Essence. $38. Oh, I'm not even saying how big they are. 2.5 mils. I know this video is all over the place, guys. I promise. But you'll get more content. There it is. See it? Can you see it right there? Right there. You know, their stuff just smells good. It goes on super thick like a hyaluronic acid, but then the minute it hits your skin and you start rubbing, it's almost like a water. Okay, that's unique. All right, that's that's definitely different. I thought it was going to be like, you know, serum -y, but it's not. It's, again, it's a toner. It went on like a serum, a thick one, and then it just kind of applies like a toner, but it's all gone. It's in my skin. Effectively brighten, smooth, and even skin tone with this lightweight, definitely that, essence toner. This concentrated treatment is packed with powerful antioxidants, radiance-enhancing vitamin C, which I love, and amino acids to improve dryness instantly and over time. All right, so that just lets me know that I'm going to put this on and then I'll put some kind of um, hydrating serum and then a moisturizer because <laughs> I just read it. Oh, wow. You got to forgive me, guys. I didn't sleep last night. Not only can I see, I'm a little loopy too. Improve dryness instantly and over time. Improve, all right? Something tells me that I would have to definitely use a moisturizer over because your girl's dry and I always do anyway. Okay. Ah, so yeah, highly recommend looking inside the box. There's always a lot of information and that is the last thing in the icon box. There you go. So we have the Amika Hair, Excited. We have the Toner from Glow Recipe, Excited. We have the Polite Society Lip Balm. Really like that. Very excited for LYS. I'll take the Elemis for sure, I will. This one, kind of on the fence. We're gonna give it a go, give it a shot. I can't say anything until I try it. And then the Bobbi Brown Mascara. Maybe not the most exciting thing. I don't know, this could be the best mascara on the planet. I don't know, because I haven't tried it. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna try it. Oh, the Tarte palette. How can I forget? <laughs> there you go. I got to say, this is an excellent box. You like these products and you feel the price is worth it, definitely sign up. This is a very good month. I'm hoping that they, like, kill it for December. I mean, normally that's when you would think boxes, like, bring the big guns. People are evaluating their financial situation, whether they're going to stay on with something or sign up, whatever, you know what I mean? So they kind of, like, I don't know. I don't want to say, like amp you up but kind of you know it's it's common business sense and it's smart business sense so we're going to go over the boxy charm by ipsy and then i'm going to say good night guys i will edit this video i'll do it the best i can with my eyesight but that's why i want to go to sleep really early i didn't eat today obviously i'm a little loopy 
like I said, I had a couple grapes. All right, so the Boxy Charm by Ipsy. Guaranteed to get five full side products. Again, down and below. Now, with this one's a little bit different. You get two choices from Ipsy, and you're allowed to pick three. You will have three groups of products. You're allowed to pick one from each group. And then they do have a little more, like, you know, informational type thing. Oh, they have their advent calendar, huh? Okay, I didn't see that. Well, I mean, I knew they were going to do it, but I didn't actually see it. Has anybody seen it? Like, comment down below. What's in it? Should I get it? Because eyes? Spoiler alert. I couldn't get not one calendar from the UK. Not one. The only one I could get was the Selfridges, and it's in stock right now. But I need to pay over time, and I can't. Klarna wouldn't give me that much power, which is crazy because I had $900 spending power with Klarna. I, I redid my phone number and it dropped down to like $200. So because the calendar is $349, they wouldn't approve it. Listen, I have like $2,500 or $3,000 like that over an afterpay. I love afterpay. I got a question for you real quick. I, I'm going to digress from this for a second. The Allen calendars. Okay, I don't know which ones to get. I have three here. But these are like affordable ones, right? The Sephora Advent Calendar, the 25 days. It's not great for $99, but it's not terrible. It's not like they're normal. I was thinking about getting one of the littler ones just to roast, you know, Sephora. But maybe I shouldn't do that. Because I can't get the high-end ones. So kind of frees me up for a little bit of money, like to buy some more affordable ones. I'm going to ask you guys to help me out. Please let me know if you know what's available. Can you help your girl out? Because that's a lot of work for me to do. I'm looking my best to... But I mean, like, are there any you want to see that, like, know what he's doing? Maybe it's a lesser expensive one. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. you have any ideas for me? Where should I look? You know, can you help your girl out a little bit? <laughs> Just a little bit. I'm not asking you to do my job for me. But, you know, give me some suggestions. I'll go check them out. And remember, I want to get something that has something of value in there that, we're, you know, that I'm not buying, you know, 12 days or 24 days of absolute garbage. You know what I mean? Unless I'm going to roast it and it's not super expensive, I will do that. But nobody roasts an advent calendar like Alexandria Ryan, so I'm just going to let her do that. But, like, you know, what do you want to see? Is there any ideas out there? I don't know. We still have a little ways to go still. Not very long, though. I mean, I was told that the Sephora advent calendar will be coming back somewhere around Christmas. I don't know. But, you know, I'm going to take that with a grain of salt. It says it's no longer available, so it doesn't say, like, notify me or anything. So that leads me to believe, no. People want $300 for that calendar. I am sorry. I am sorry. Macari people that are selling it, shame on you. Shame on you. It's $99. Now, I get if you want to make a couple bucks, and I wouldn't mind paying buck twenty or something. But with the fees? Oh, come on. If there's, like, $25 in fees and then shipping on top of it? No, shame on you. Those are sellers. He was reselling a super bad name. A super bad name. I'm seeing 10th one sold. Or they have like 15 of them listed. How do they even do that? Is there not a cap on those? That's why they sell out so much. It's not because everybody grabs them and wants them. I mean, people do want them. And that's why people buy 20 and 30 of them and they sell them on eBay. I've seen on eBay too. I've got 10 for sale. Come on, man. Like, that's just rude. And I'm sorry if it's some of my people here. I think my people are not like that. Anyway, I'm sorry. I digress. Box of Charm again by Ipsy. We have five full-size products. Again, you get to pick three. They pick two. At, uh, from the first to the third, that is when Choice opens at 3 p.m. EST, which I missed. And normally I like to get my box up before. But as I said in my last video, Ipsy is not shipping them from North Carolina anymore. They're from Missouri. That's what I found out. They ship from Missouri. So we have one in North Carolina and one in Missouri. When it's in Missouri, I'm getting it late. Hopefully they'll come back to North Carolina sometime during the year. And then I'll get them again and I'll be able to post them quick. Lickety split, okay? All right, the first thing is this. I, I couldn't wait. I used this today. I'm so happy because I have like one more use on my Rodial. Rodial, whatever you want to, I call it Rodial. Bitsy Brightening Cleanser. And one more use and that's it, I'm done. I had a little one, but I didn't open it, thank goodness, because I got this now. I like this cleanser. I've already gone through one of them. I absolutely like this cleanser and I do like the cream. I think you should put vitamin C it definitely use this if not every day at least like you know two times a week or something like that i'm happy to get this i love it and it smells super good it's so citrusy smelling i love it use am and pm massage over damp face and neck rinse and pat dry formulated with vitamin c and e but now i'm allergic to vitamin e we know that but if it's a cleanser i, I and besides i would deal with it anyway because i like this so much but being because i'm washing it off it's not an issue so that was the first product very very happy Oh, the dynamic resurfacing elements. Was that in add-ons? Oh, that's the 
Red Counter. Okay, I don't want to look at that. I don't look at that because I might buy it and then I'll be like, oh, it's everything I already got. No. All right, so that was the first item. The second item is this. Uh, this is from Cinta London. I've not heard of this brand. This is a new one. Okay, new one for me. Again, the um, theme is Glow Off This Winter. Glow Off This Winter. So it doesn't really say anything. Oh, here, what? No, that's stupid. with God. Yeah, it doesn't really say anything here about this box. But anyway, let's find out. Okay, so here's the packaging. I've not heard of this brand. I don't know what this is. Super Hold. Oh, it's a setting spray. Okay, cool. Super Hold setting spray. It doesn't have any balls in there or anything. It's just regular. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that's a nice spray. I'm not going to put any on because that's just one more thing I got to take off. And it is vegan and it's clean. Okay. And this is how many? Oh, this big thing. I'm like, I'm going to have this forever. I'm so happy. This is 6.75 fluid ounces or 200 mils. And this one is 2.7 fluid ounces or 80 mils. So this is from Elman. This is the liquid eyeliner. Okay. In the shade. I'm assuming black. It really does not say the shade. 4F01. Here you have it. It is a liquid eyeliner. Okay. Why well, is a ball in there? I gotta see. Okay, this is cool. This is very good if you want to learn or practice doing your eyeliner. Although it is a brush, it's exactly shaped like these brushes. Okay? And it's it looks exactly like that. Look here on the top, I'm gonna show you. That is a brush. See how it's slanted? I can't see what it looks like. I, there, I'm hoping it shows the slanted part. This is very good to practice with to get to do liquid liners because it's almost foolproof. Brushes are notoriously easier than felt tip. Felt tips skip, you know, especially if you have more textured eyes and, or a little more skin around the line. I'm going to show you. I'll try and zoom you in here and so you can see a little bit. It's very, very easy. You could do a really skinny line. Again, I'll try and, and, and you know, zoom you in. Or you can do one of your thick wings, all right? But it's definitely a brush. And I mean, it's very black. It has a give going this way, not this way. See what I mean? Anyway, this is very, very nice. You can do it sideways like I just did it. But anyway, if I needed to pick a black eyeliner, it would be this one. Not mad at it. And then the fourth thing is from Iconic London. And we, I think this is a highlighter. Yes. Lit and Luminous Baked Highlighter. So it's a baked highlighter. I'm not mad at baked highlighters. Remember I said I was on the hunt, right? It's definitely the packaging right here. Okay. The, the, the standard Iconic London. And there you go. Say hello. Say hello. All right, now, that is super pretty. I don't know. It's not like blinding. Like, I guess it is, but you guys got to tell me. is Baked highlighters should not give you a, a, a cast. I almost don't want to swatch it. But, I mean, like I said, if I'm going to try that other one first before I dip it in this one. But I do like that color a lot. It's very champagne-y gold. It's like, a very, it's, it's like a gold silver. It's so pretty. It's so very pretty. It is very pretty. And then we have the infamous Violet Voss Disco Drip. Now, when I opened this palette, I was not surprised at all because they are kind of notorious. They do this a lot. You see the packaging, you go, oh, and you open it up, and it's not really anything like it. You know, the packaging, I mean. I mean, they did add the pop of blue and the green and a little bit of that, like, purpley pink shades right here. Anyway, I wanted to swatch these, but this video is getting long, so... I will create a look at this. I had a chuckle when I opened this up. Really? One brown shadow? Why? Just do an iridescent shadow up in that corner and you would have had an all shimmer palette. Would have been very, very nice. I'm going to do live swatches. You're going to see them in the sun and then I'm going to do something with this. I will pull in a mat from one of my palettes. I want to see how these perform. I have not tried a Violet Voss palette in a quite some time. I think these shimmers are good for people who have textured eyes and just don't want to accentuate anything, but you still want a little something, something. But yeah, not, it's a little different than the, the packaging, but you know, there are the three subscription guys. All right, all in all, I gotta say, if I were to pay for these and I would get them, I would be happy. Let me know down below, what products did you get? Did you pick? I'm sorry it wasn't up before choice. There's just no way I was gonna get it up before choice, guys. Again, hopefully they'll start shipping from North Carolina. Maybe they'll do both and I will be able to post mine as well. 12.01 a.m. on the first, you know what I mean? So that you guys have a little bit of time to see the videos. As for now, we are doing it this way because, you know, I have no other choice really. And um, I just want to say thank you to Ipsy for sending this stuff over to me. I very much do appreciate it. I have fun, you know, going over these products with you guys. And mostly I want to be helpful, you know. 
And so what we decided is I'm going to do this and then I will come back and I will try and do a little bit of a follow-up video letting you know like, hey, this didn't work. It did work. This is a great product. What have you. Okay. All right, guys. Again, thank you for hanging out with me. If you have not yet already subscribed, please consider doing so. I would love to have you. I have a lot coming up with the holidays. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up, if you, especially if you like Ipsy and you just like subscription boxes. And if you like any of these products. Let me know what products you got down below. What, let me know what you think about the products that I received. And please remember in this crazy mixed up world we live in, to all my loved ones all across the globe, stay safe. To the next one, see ya.